Infinite Disc recently sent us a copy of one of their new discs called the Con Tiki and they told us that we can do whatever we like with this disc. And considering this is one of the weirdest discs that we've ever held with a unique logo and name, we figured you'd want to know a little bit more about it. So today on Just Disc, it's time to review the Con Tiki by Infinite Disc. So let's get into it. Now before we get started, we just want to let you know that we got this disc in max weight at around 176 grams and we got it in the eye blend plastic, which is a very similar plastic to the ESP by Discraft or the Star by Innova. The Con Tiki has a speed of four, a glide of five, a turn of minus three, and a fade of zero. So right away with these numbers, you can tell that this disc is an understable mid-range disc that's gonna be better suited for beginners, someone with a slower arm speed, or someone who just wants some turn out of their disc. Now before we show you some clips of different shot types to show you how this disc flies, we first wanna give you just a few details about this disc. Now upon analyzing the disc, it has a decent dome to it. It's not really too poppy, but that dome really keeps that disc gliding through the air. And it also has a very small bead around the rim, which helps the disc fit between the crevices of your fingers. But what's more interesting, and actually one of the problems that I had with it, is the rim depth and the rim width. The rim depth of this disc is only 1.2 centimeters, and the rim width is only 1.1 centimeters. So this disc is kind of hard to fit in your hand if you don't have small hands. And personally, I don't even have that big of hands, but it was still hard for me to find how to fit my four-fingered grip on the disc because there just wasn't that much space. I ended up putting more of my palm over the top plate to throw it right hand back in, but it still wasn't that comfortable. Now, Infinite Disc states that they designed this disc to be a straight to understable touch shot disc that's good for approaching the basket or weaving through tight fairways. They also say that it can be used for really good Anheuser shots where you just need it to turn over and hold, especially if you're not good with forehanding just yet. So evidently, we decided to test this out. We threw a bunch of different shots and here's what we found out. Now we started off with some backhand shots and right out of the gate, the numbers spoke true. Because of the speed of four and the turn of minus three, the disc is very sensitive or touchy to your release angles and power. Now, even with this disc being a bit sensitive to power and your release angle, it really shines at a few things. First and foremost, slow rhythmic shots where you don't put a lot of power, it's gonna fly straight, which once again is gonna be ideal for beginners and you'll sometimes even get a bit of turn out of it. Another thing it's good for is hyzer flipping. And if you don't know what hyzer flipping is or how to do it, make sure you check out our video right here. But it's good for those mini hyzer flips down a tunnel where you just need to go straight or even better for those big bomb hyzer flips where you just need to get as much distance as possible and you don't mind the disc holding a turn to the right. And where this disc really shines for a more experienced player is for those big ant hyzer hold shots or turnover shots where you want the disc to just hold a turn to the right the entire way, especially if you don't have that forehand. Now for forehand shots, the disc did not perform too well. And that's because forehand shots take a bit more snap, a bit more torque, and if the disc has no fade, it's not gonna be able to take that amount of power. So it was a little bit more delicate. The only way that I really found I could forehand it was for more closer to the basket approach shots. And I even had to throw it a bit more nose up to control it, to control that stability. But if you're someone new who doesn't know how to forehand or who just needs to learn with an easier disc, this disc may be ideal for you. And something else that was really interesting and something I discovered myself is this disc does very well for those four hand rollers and even if it's only a four speed. It was so easy for me to just put a little bit of power, see it flip up and start rolling, which is really something new for myself. So four hand rollers, this disc definitely works. Now for approach shots, this is where we feel this disc shines the most. And it actually reminds me of my Innova Dart, except a smaller rim. I use the Dart for Anheuser putting when I just need it to hold a turn or Anheuser approaching where I just need it to hold a turn and glide there the entire way. It's really exactly like the Dart, but again, it's only very useful at those slower speed approach shots. 
Now we also tested this disc out for putting and we did it because it's really closer to those speeds of those putters, but also because we found that the fan grip felt the most comfortable for this disc. And very quickly after doing a few putts, I realized that it's really not that bad of a putter, even without any fade. Now for me, it still turns a little bit too much to the right, but it wasn't as bad as I expected. Now after hearing the review of the Contiki, I think it's obvious that Infinite Disc saw a big boom of disc golf and wanted to create a disc that would be well suited for new players. If a new player picks up this disc, they're gonna be able to drive relatively straight to start. They're gonna be able to approach the basket and they're also gonna be able to putt. So it's a great first all around disc for new players. And if you like the Contiki, but don't wanna to have to deal with that shallow rim depth, for instance, you have big hands, other alternatives are the Discraft Soul, the Innova Dart, or the Innova Stingray. Those discs are very comparable. Now, if you enjoyed this review and you love watching informative, high quality disc golf content, you guys know what to do. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.